everybody, Annie Kianaga here. Welcome. Welcome to yoga. So, it's great you could join me in this beautiful practice that's been around for thousands of years. There's a reason for that. It's very effective and impactful. So, just that gentle reminder that if there are poses that are contraindicated for you, just please don't do them or modify the pose. Do take really good care of yourself. Serve yourself well. And also I suggest you have the mat parallel to mine rather than perpendicular. I just think that's more convenient, but that's certainly up to you. And also I do tend to start seated like this and giving ourselves a moment to just welcome ourselves to the practice. So if sitting is not that comfortable for you in this cross-legged fashion, I'm sitting in half lotus. You can sit in easy pose. Or you can extend your legs forward. And also it can be helpful if you get a little pillow or rolled up towel or something and sit on that. And by elevating yourself thusly, it can alleviate the situation for your hips and knees. So, okay, with that being said, let's get started. I thought today we'd do some prone poses, etc. You'll see. Let's take a moment now to close our eyes and just sit tall and just be with this moment. So sometimes it's not so easy to be with the moment. Maybe you have lots of things going on in your head, lots of thoughts, and that's fine. That's what the mind can do. But what you can do, rather than pushing against the thoughts, trying to push them away, that might not be too successful. You can just shift your attention to this moment by noticing the movement of the breath. The breath is always in the present moment. The direct experience of the senses, the air on your skin, any surrounding sounds, etc. Just take in this moment right here, right now. Treat your yoga mat as a place of sanctuary and just be with this moment. Go ahead and release our legs forward now. Give them a little shake. Flex your feet. Press down into your hands. Lift through the crown of the head. Draw the shoulders back and down. We'll be doing Paschimottasana, forward fold now. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold. You can take hold of the balls of your feet over the tops of your toes. That can give your toes a nice little stretch or the outer edges over your feet or your legs. Whatever works for you, whatever is available to you, breathe. Do that again, come back up, inhale, lift, exhale, fold, and one more time, come back up, inhale, lift, exhale, fold, and then come back up, and let's place that left foot to the outside of the right knee. I give those mirroring instructions where when I indicate left to you, I move my right. I just think it's helpful in terms of guiding you in the pose. I hope that's true for you. All right, take hold beneath the knee, sit up nice and straight, flex that foot out front, place the left hand behind you, reach up high, take a deep inhale, exhale, press that thigh, get that arm rather, against the thigh, draw yourself around, let's do a nice spinal twist. Fantastic, come back to center. Now let's place that foot along the inner thigh, like so for some Janu Shoshasana, head to knee pose. Press down into your hands, lift through the crown of the head, draw the shoulders back and down, reach up high, inhale. Exhale, fold forward and down and breathe. And then come 
come back up and release that leg forward. Give it a little shake. Let's place the right foot to the outside of the left knee now. Sit up nice and straight. Place the right hand behind you. Reach up high. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Press against that thigh. Draw yourself around. And then come back to center. Place that foot along the inner thigh. Flex that foot out front. Press into your hands. Lift through the crown of the head. Inhale. Reach up high. Exhale. Fold. Breathe. And come back up. Awesome. All right. Let's get down onto our bellies for a few prone situations here. So, shoulders over elbows. Just spread your fingers. We're in sphinx pose. So, you want to draw up through the crown of the head, soften the shoulders back and down. Reach through those back toes, soften the belly down. Just feel this gentle back bend. It's very nice. Breathe. <sighs> We're going to deepen this back bend now. If that works for you, take a deep inhale. Just straighten the arms. Hold and breathe. Bring yourself down. Tuck the toes under. Take a deep inhale. Lift into low plank. Exhale. Draw back into a modified down dog. Inhale. Come on forward. Exhale. Come on down. Untuck the toes, look straight ahead. Inhale, straighten the arms, hold and breathe. Bring yourself down, tuck the toes under. Inhale, lift, exhale, draw back. Inhale, come on forward. Exhale, come on down. Now walk your hands toward you. And then just come up into child's pose. So have your knees about mat distance apart. Touch the big toes together, sit back on your heels, fold forward and down. And rest here for a moment, breathe. Bring your hands toward you, come back up, bring your knees together, very good. And we'll just do a little more. Come forward into table pose, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, spread your fingers, draw the creases of your arms forward. What we're going to do now is a nice relief for the sh release for the shoulders and a gentle back bend, etc. You'll see. On the inhale, just reach forward through your left hand, hold and breathe, and back through your right toes, hold and breathe. Now point those toes up toward the sky, the ceiling. Bring that foot around a little bit. See if you can take hold of that foot with your left hand. I'm not offering mirroring instructions now. And then as you inhale, just lift the foot high. Shine your heart toward and face forward. Hold and breathe. Then release that foot and shift back into child's pose for a moment. Shift forward into table pose once again. On the inhale, reach forward through your right hand, back through your left toes, hold and breathe. Point those toes up toward the ceiling. Bring that hand around, see if you can take hold of that foot. Lift that foot high, shine your heart toward and face forward. Breathe. Then release that foot. And yes, shift back into child's pose once again. And walk your hands towards you. Come back up. Bring your knees together. Very good. And now we'll end in that beautiful way that's recommended. So you, rather than darting off to the next event in life, Give yourself a moment to absorb this experience, to let it deeply nourish you. So during this relaxation meditation, you can lie down on your back, arms and legs extended. Just allow yourself to be heavy on the earth. Let go. The earth is holding you and let it hold you and rock you. You know, you don't have to hold yourself in place, you know, not necessary. Or you can sit. If you choose sitting, please just choose a comfortable posture for you. 
And as you sit, just feel that release skyward through the crown of the head. You can tuck your chin ever so slightly, soften the shoulders back and down. Feel that beautiful support from your lower core. Feel the gentle release skyward of the spine. In either case, you can go ahead and close your eyes if you haven't already done so. And just receive this moment. Just be. So if you're lying down, feel free to bring your feet back together so the inner edges are touching. And then very slowly, with great respect for the tranquility you feel, just roll over onto your right side into a fetal position. Be there for a moment. Feel the comfort of this pose. And when you're ready, you can gently press yourself up into a seated posture and close your eyes for an additional moment. And of course, those of you that chose to sit at the end of our yoga practice today, you're also <clears throat> sitting with your eyes closed. So let's chant the Aum together. We'll chant it three times. This will be followed by the word Shanti three times, which means peace in Sanskrit. The Aum is the primordial sound. So let this sound come from deep within you and let it resonate throughout your being. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Take a deep inhale. Oh. 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 schedule, take the feeling of yoga with you. Let it serve you in your daily life. And I'll end with that beautiful word that acknowledges the light in all sentient and insentient beings. That's you, me, everyone and everything. And that is Namaste. Stay well and happy, everyone. Until we meet again, bye for now.